I think given your remarkable rise at Uber, people might be surprised to hear that in the years leading up to that, you faced more of a personal struggle. Can you tell me about that? Sure. Um, so yes, it's been a wild ride. And this isn't something I've, I've really talked about uh, incredibly publicly, but this is an incredible, uh, this is the perfect venue to do it. Is, um, you know, when I was, when I was a teenager, I, I had uh, a bit of a nuanced relationship with drugs. And I, uh, I ended up getting in a bit over my head. And uh, ultimately, um, you know, I had a drug addiction. And so um, I, you know, I, I got sober. I'm, I'm 10 years sober. Um, this is when you were in college. But yeah, oh, thank you. Um, but, you know, at that time, it was, I was, you know, I was in a really dark place. And, and you know, I had, it was a moment of, you know, stepping back with my family and being like, I don't want to be, I don't like who I am. I just kind of physically, spirit, spiritually, emotionally was, was just really sick. And so, um, you know, I took several years off school. Um, and, and really, you know, I got all the right help I needed. And I was, I was super willing to, to take all the steps, right? Any recommendations to get help, I was absolutely willing to go back to basics. And, um, and, you know, so I spent the next several years, like I graduated college at 25, which was, I was so insecure about feeling behind, but it was, it was such the right thing for me to do because so you I, went back, you took the time off and then you I went back and I took the time back. And so, you know, I was a, a sober 20, 25 year old senior and, um, which was a very different experience, but it's, um, it was just so important for me to get that part of my life right so that the rest of my life could be, um, could, could be right. And getting that part of your life right, you have told me, really gave you a lot of tools that ended up serving you quite well in this crazy journey you've been on at Uber. Yeah, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think, um, I think I, like, I think I was given this toolkit that I, that in everything I do at Uber, I mean, I think the most important thing is just perspective, right? Like, I think it's easy in, um, in Silicon Valley at a startup. Like, I've certainly, I live and breathe Uber. I have, I've been here since the start. But at the end of the day, like, I'm really proud, I'm so proud of the work my, my team has done at Uber and of the work I've done at Uber, but it's not the proudest thing I've done, right? I'm, I'm more proud of being sober. And I'm, I'm, I just have perspective of like, this is an incredible, I'm so fortunate to be a part of this and it's been so cool. It's, you know, but being sober and, and you know, being able to share that with my family and, and whatnot is, means a whole lot more. And then there's just tools of like, getting sober, like, there's just tools that taught me how to be, I'm so direct at work and, and so honest. And so like tools like that, or just when I look at a project, like it taught me to just dissect things into baby steps, right? It's just like, do the next right thing. And so even when I look at a big project now, it's like, I don't get overwhelmed. Well, I, I certainly do get overwhelmed, but I don't, I don't, I step back and I say, well, what's the next right thing to do here? And so, um, and then I always just try and have a sense of humility in both of those areas of my life too, of just, um, and not feeling self-important or anything like that. So, so those have carried over quite nicely.